DJ Ferris. Chicago, nigga. It's the real one. He back. Only one is pulling shit. Fuck up. Like a sports talk. An offensive coordinator told him that he believes eventually Kyler Murray is going to wind up being harder to stop than Lamar. The quote is, he neutralizes a good defensive line. Lamar, you know what you have to do to stop him. Not that it's easy. He's a runner. Kyler has that release. We touched on this yesterday. I really wanted to get the thoughts of Lewis and... You know why it's going to be harder to stop Lamar Jackson? Because he's not the only one that's running the football. You have to stop their running game. Now they add on J.K. Dobbins with Ingram, and you have to start Lamar Jackson. You don't know which one to get in the football. That's why it's going to be so hard to stop him. You can sit here and say it, but it's tough to stop him. You know why it's going to be tough? That running game, and then everyone is going to go in that stadium thinking they're going to run. And when they open it up for him to throw the football, it's going to make him even more dangerous because they saw how he moved forward. The year that he wasn't throwing the football as much, and then the next year he started letting it loose, and you see the difference now of what they're going to do for him and mix it all together with the run and the throw because everyone is going to look in that backfield. And so everything behind the secondary and the linebacker is going to be open because you don't know if they're going to run or throw it. But now it's going to be tough because they run a game, have another good running back. Ryan Clark is with us this morning as well. And RC, I'll start with you. Is that, when you hear that, Kyler Murray could be tougher to stop than Lamar Jackson. What do you think? Well, I think people remember what their scouting reports look like and what their reviews and evaluations were when people were coming out of college. And if you look at Kyler Murray going number one overall, even though he's 5'10 and Lamar is over 6'2", it's because people believe that he was a better thrower of the ball than Lamar was coming out of college. And I think they just still believe the same thing. And this is no indictment on Kyler Murray. He is extremely quick, extremely fast. He's fast to speed he's explosive and he can also throw the football but when you talk about neutralizing a defensive line have we ever seen any quarterback neutralize a defensive line a linebacker core or a secondary better than Lamar Jackson did with his legs last year and yes he has to improve in throwing the ball outside the numbers and Kyler Murray is definitely farther along in throwing the ball than Lamar Jackson is but to compare those two guys and Yes, he's far alone. Passing the ball, because the system is. And then the skill set. Lamar can throw the football, but Kyle Lamar, he's in, in front of him. Because he can drop back and pass the football. He have a nice arm. I said Lamar don't. What got Lamar to where he is is using his legs. He started using his arm a year after. It's going to continue on. Like, the only difference is Kyler Murray fought along throwing it. And Lamar is getting there. I think that Kyler Murray becomes hard to stop. I think that only goes back to when you look at your sheet. When Kyler Murray was coming out, you look at your sheet. When Lamar Jackson was coming out and you said, you know what? This guy can throw the ball. This guy can't. And I think we're going to continue to see these types of, of conversations, this type of thing said about Lamar Jackson until he proves some of the people wrong who didn't believe in him in the first place. Greeny, do you know why? Like first round draft picks continue to go to different teams and show you that they suck. He, he already proved them wrong. They told him to go to wide receiver. He pulled them wrong. And once he got in there and start creating and start moving the football and start scoring these touchdowns in the field and start got the Ravens moving forward and helped them make it the playoffs. Once he became the starter, Harbaugh ain't do nothing but see what he does, scratch his playbook off, and utilize everything that's around Lamar Johnson's skill set and roll with that. And it been successful. It led to an MVP. It led to him throwing the football the year after because everyone is suspecting him to run the football. 
that's what makes him dangerous because he can have you thinking or he can run the football. So everyone is going to be spying in the backfield. And all Lamar had to do is start dropping back, fake it, and see what's in the backfield because it's going to be open because the run is going to be on everyone's mind. That's what's making him more dangerous. That's why his skill set ain't going to continue growing into a danger mode because his run ability was going to help him open up his passing game because the run is is one of his – Dangerous, so he can have everyone on their toes. Time and time again, it's because people cannot forget what they thought about these dudes when they were coming out of school. And I think Lamar Jackson falls victim to that a lot, but I do believe that this conversation has a little bit to do with that. I agree with that. I did an entire essay on how people just won't admit they were wrong on Lamar Jackson a couple of weeks ago. That said... Lewis, let me ask you about Kyler Murray. I mean, the MVP of the league each of the last two seasons has been a second-year quarterback who just exploded and had a huge season. Kyler Murray's team, which has an offense built around him, adds maybe the best receiver in the whole sport in DeAndre Hopkins. Is it crazy to think he could be that guy this year? No, it's not crazy at all. I mean, obviously a lot of things have to go right for him. They, he had, the offense has to stay balanced. He has to, he has to stay on the field, meaning this, the defense has to do their part so he has more cracks at it, so he has more possessions and he has more chances to throw. And then he's going to ultimately need to have the protection. He's going to need to execute, and there's no reason why. That's the difference. You know why Lamar has been successful for these past years? It had to do with up front. Kyler Murray came in with an offensive line that wasn't good. They was getting there, but they wasn't good. They weren't protecting him right. Lamar was getting great protection. That's why he's so able to be dangerous in the run game and also can sit back in the pocket and observe those football down the field because what he had up front, it's all about what you have around your quarterback, and it started up front. You know, from an execution standpoint, he isn't able to take his game from point A to point B and really make that huge second year leap. There's no, I think what people are trying to say about, about Kyler in particular is this. People believe that when, when he is in the pocket, when he is a pure drop back passer, that he is, the, he is someone who is able to distribute the football with more efficiency, with quicker release times, and really dice you up from a pure throwing perspective better than Lamar. Quite honestly, I mean, I think it's a slap in the face of Lamar, and I think Ryan is on the right track here. I think people won't give him credit for what he can do in the pocket. They believe this. As long as you can keep him contained, keep him inside the tackle box, do not have him become a dual run pass threat, then when you put Lamar in the pocket and you truly have to make him become a drop back passer and he doesn't have the benefit of play action on first and second down, then we've got him right where we want him, then we can neutralize him and shut him down. What he's going to have to do is he's going to have to answer that. He's going to have to say, hey, remember those 28 TD passes I threw from the pocket last year that led the NFL? It wasn't a fluke, and now I'm going to take it to the next level, meaning this. I don't need play action to dice you up. I don't need the benefit of the run-pass conflict for the defense in order to get... But he proved that this season. That's what led to him getting this MVP. On top of, he already was losing the league and everything, and that's what helped him become an MVP. He proved that he could throw the football. It's all about growth. He's still young. This only is, I think, his third year. It's all, it's all about what he's going to grow into. He already had it right there. He already made that jump into throwing the ball. This season, they is going to let him more out the cage and let him drop back and throw the football. Because they trust him throwing the football now. When they see how he did this season, now it's a lot of trust and let him drop back and throw it. What I want to get from you, and he's going to have to answer those questions. And it's, it's amazing the disrespect that a guy who just won MVP continues to get, because that's really what it is. Again, it's not to take anything away from Kyler Murray, but Lamar has some questions that people need him to answer. And judging from what I know about him from afar, he's going to answer them. He's going to answer them very quickly, too, and I can't wait to see it. Here's one quick thing. I they don't want to admit it, but he already answered. He have an MVP under his, under his belt. They already told him 
go to wide receiver. But this man didn't want MVP in less than two, two to three years. And look what he took, Baltimore, to being a top ten. One day he had to prove in, prove to himself, win the playoff games. Cause once you get in the playoffs, the defense get much tighter. He know the only way he can elevate his team in the playoffs if he throw it more. Once he could prove he could throw it in the playoffs, it's gonna open up everything. How it open up in the regular season for him. That's a way you can start creating the run holes and everything. That is open up the run. Everyone knows you're going to run the football. That's why they don't put everyone in the box. But once he take that jump in the playoff and throw in the football, trust me, it's going to open up a lot more. But he already proved it. I would say, if you add up the ages right now, of Lamar Jackson and Kyler Murray, they're 46 years old. And they're both 23. Kyler Murray just turned 23 a week ago. And Tom Brady is 43. These two combined are 46. Thank you for watching ESPN on